Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion, hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fix mesh penetration. Now what you're going to find no matter how good the mocap data you use, there's always going to be some sort of issue with meshes penetrating each other and you're always going to need to deal with this. So it's not something that you can kind of just get around and I'm going to show you how to fix it really quick and really easy. We're going to be using the edit motion layer and if we come over here to our clip in our timeline you can see already the character's hands are penetrating the mesh. When he folds his hands they're further penetrating the mesh and in this third pose here they go through the mesh again. So you know all sorts of little issues here that we're going to have to fix and tweak. So we're just going to come to the point in the timeline where they penetrate and you can see it is on a number of different occasions we do get mesh penetration. So we're going to have to adjust all of, the, all of these little points and what we're going to do is we're just going to use the edit motion layer and the first thing we're doing as you can see is we're just lifting up the arms a little bit we're just offsetting those arms a tiny bit using our rotation gizmo and our position gizmo just to move them and fine tune them and now you can see they don't go through the waist and now what we're going to do is just look at the before and after and you can see what's happening and what we've actually fixed. Now we're going to go to the second point in the time and which is here the hands and we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to literally select just the body only. We don't want to affect the body. We just want to affect the arms and we're going to set a key and then at this point we're going to just literally shift them out of the way and you're going to see how easy that is to do very quick, very simple fix. All we're doing is using the edit motion layout just to you know, offset the hands a little bit and position them in the correct place. Now, just remember to always set a keyframe before and then after. Now, if you haven't set a keyframe before, it will actually affect the whole motion overall. So you do have to set that keyframe first. And now you can see the results when we play that back, it does look a lot better. Now, just coming down to this third point here, we can see it is going through, the hands are going through his waist. So we just want to fix this again using the exact same process. All we're doing is offsetting the hands using the edit motion there. We're just tweaking them, moving them around and just positioning them how we like. There is no kind of correct way to do it in terms of uh, you know, where you position the hands, but as long as they don't penetrate the mesh, you can position them wherever you like to get the results that you want. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to use the pose mixer, which is this cool little function over here. And we're just going to use it to mirror the pose of this hand. And we're going to mirror it over to our right hand here. So we just use that little button, click it, and you can see that then mirrors over perfectly. So really easy to do. And then we'll just adjust the offset and place the hand exactly where we want it and just bring it tighter into the waist. And then we've got our results. So now what we're gonna do is we just wanna adjust the arms a little bit, but we don't wanna mess around with kind of the position of the hands because we've got them in a really nice position on the waist. We don't wanna mess that up. So what we can do is we can use this little function down here, the lock function, just to lock the hands into place. And that means that when we change the offset of the shoulders, nothing's going to happen to these hands. They are going to remain locked in position. And you'll see now that when we select the shoulders up here and, you know, offset them with the rotation gizmo, the hands actually won't move position and they'll stay locked in place. So, you know, really cool little function, really cool little feature just to kind of tweak the motion. And if we check the before and after, you can see the results look incredible. So really easy to do. So at this point, you can see the hands look great. And again, at this point, you can see they connect to the waist and they don't actually penetrate the mess. So it really is that easy, guys. Really hope this tutorial helps and I uh, really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.